Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries presents Truth for Growth a daily devotional program God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth Now Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God Shalom greetings to you in the most gracious name of the Lord Jesus Christ What a privilege that God has given unto his children to call unto him any time from any place or any situation. The Lord says, call unto me and I will answer. Thank God there is no engaged tone in God's mobile. If our life is right with God, we can call him at any time. But if every time you get a busy tone, there must be some problem in your relationship. the person must have blocked you or there can be a signal problem for our today's morning devotion let's turn our bibles to jonah chapter 2 and verse 1 then jonah prayed unto the lord his god out of the fish's belly what a strange place for a prayer meeting jonah had gotten himself into real trouble by his disobedience and running away from god as we all know He was cast into the sea, swallowed up by a fish and penned up in the stomach of a sea monster for three days and three nights. Although Jonah was there because of his own fault, God was also there to hear his prayer and when he confessed, God forgave him and delivered him. Many a time, God's children get themselves into some strange places and unhappy circumstances because of their follies and errors. There are many examples in the Bible in this connection. Consider the following instances in the Bible. Jonah in the fish's belly, as we read in our key texts. David in the court of Achish in 1 Samuel chapter 21 verse 10. Abraham in Egypt in Genesis chapter 12 verse 10. Lot in Sodom in Genesis chapter 13 verse 12. Elijah under the juniper tree. in 1st kings chapter 19 verse 4 and peter in the judgment hall in luke's gospel chapter 22 verses 55 to 62 and the list goes on and on these are but a few examples of the strange places god's children may sometimes be found they should not be there but they all too often there because of their own faults dear child of god are you in a strange place today Are you out of fellowship with the Lord, leading a defeated Christian life and very much unhappy in your present life? Then cry to God like Jonah. Confess your sin and be restored by his abundant mercy. Bible says in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God is waiting to hear your faintest cry and recognize your first move of repentance. Walking past my courtyard one day, I heard a plaintive chirping and upon investigation found a poor sparrow beating its wings against the glass pane of the window. Had it not cried and chirped, I would not have heard it, but its plaintive note prompted me to open the door wide. and it flew out to liberty maybe you through your own folly are in a strange place today and struggling to come out of it but the lord is waiting to hear your cry not only to hear your cry but also to set you at liberty cease from all your vain endeavor yield your all to the lord jesus christ and then your overcomer the man of war the lord jesus will come conquering all your foes both great and small on your behalf there is nothing too small or too big that the lord jesus christ cannot solve leave your matter to the lord and he can turn your mess into a miracle the lord says to you this morning in psalm 50 verse 15 and call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me friend you are destined to do more than what you're doing right now just call upon the lord for help and have the courage to say yes to what god calls you to do 
Your life is too valuable. Your calling is too great. And your God is too awesome to waste your life on what doesn't matter. Therefore, don't be discouraged today. As God delivers you, get up from the place where you are like Jonah of old and go ahead to the place where God wants you to be. God bless you and God be with you. Amen.